All right, everybody. So I'm going to pull another oracle today for the collective energies. I was just setting up my camera just now, and I'm like, let's see how this card actually looks. Do I got a good angle? And I can't help it. Oh, shit. Proper burial for freedom. That was my card I randomly chose to test my camera. Proper burial for freedom. And what is today? Resurrection Day. So, all right. Calling in my guides and angels. Pulling a message for the collective. And I think there's an irony there because I noticed this on my path that whatever's for the collective is always for us to, like, uh, the energies at large. They'll correspond with something that your logical mind can wrap its head around in your daily life. But if you talk to people or you see just what people are posting and sharing and things, that's when you'll start to see it. That there's a, an underlying theme that, that we're all interpreting through our own personal matrix in our own way. So, whatever I pull for myself, it's kind of for the collective too anyways. I'm already seeing the energies coming through. All right. All right. All right, Dragon Fae fam. What do you got to say to us? What do you got to say? Let's see. We got one. The Sovereign. Gentle power. So, this is about rebirth. This is about rebirth right here, people. The sovereign. This is about... <sighs> like it says, gentle power. Not needing to... Uh, it's, it's like an inner calm. An inner knowing. That's the energies I feel coming for today. An inner knowing that I'm okay being me. I'm more than okay being me, in fact. I want to fully be me, and you want to fully be you. And we can have this mutual co-creation, in which we all celebrate our best. That's the second coming. The second coming is your true self. That's the opportunity of the energies that we're ripe for. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the Sovereign card, because I'm sure it's a good message. All right, the Sovereign. Gentle power. The Sovereign speaks. It is not our desire to possess power, but to radiate it out in ever-increasing waves, which is the second coming, the wave, sending these seedlings of empowerment into the world, taking root in all your hearts. We do not hold on. We allow this power to extend out, to flow, and to be yours too. This is that, that, that inner knowing of gentle power, knowing that it's your birthright, not having to uh, stand up and shout about it. You know, to be a queen, to be the sovereign of your world is not what so many beings feel and dream it to be. It is not about the instant fulfillment of whim whimsical desires, nor is it the power of enjoying personal luxury while others suffer and lament. It is to be a caretaker and an example to all. And let me just emphasize there. If you don't know how to be a caretaker of yourself, you're not going to have the depth to be able to do it for others just putting that out there i ask you now that if you wish to be treated as royal and as the sovereign in your world you must become truly royal care for the others around you walk amongst them bear yourself with dignity and courage dignity and courage no matter the circumstance no matter the circumstance that's what we're coming into the, uh, the uh, resilience to be able to do so. And now, and know that no matter, wait, sorry, and know that no small thing is too humble to be of interest to you. Look around your world and see where you have confused the fulfillment of desire with the role of sovereign. Take up the mantle of that role in your life now. It is no burden, but it is a responsibility. You are queen, you are sovereign, you are the one who creates your world. Like it or not, you are the one who must change the order of what is and bring about the change you wish to see elsewhere by bringing it forth from within yourself. That is the opportunity of the energies of today, people. All right, much blessings. Let go of what no longer serves, proper burial for freedom, so you can step into your power, your true sovereign power, your birthright.